Well, we've been constantly tracking some latest inputs. This one is also coming in from the United States of America, where FBI has now released a fresh statement on the entire incident that has occurred in Pennsylvania. The FBI has assumed the role of the lead federal law enforcement agency in the investigation. Now, special agents of the FBI puts... Pittsburgh field office have responded immediately to the entire crisis and uh, they have also included the crisis response team members and evidence response technicians on board. So these are the latest inputs that we are tracking from the ground. The FBI has already taken uh, the complete lead in this investigation. The shooting incident at Donald Trump's campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania and is also constantly urging anyone with any information to come forward. So these are the latest inputs that we we are tracking at this point of time. New details are emerging about the entire incident and we are constantly working to bring you the latest updates as they come in. But right now, according to the latest inputs, the FBI has already taken the lead in the entire investigation and the shooting incident at Donald Trump's campaign rally in Butler. Now, uh, joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Siddhant. A very good morning, Siddhant, once again. You've just had a conversation with the, the correspondent, Rohit Sharma of White House. Now, what more details are we gathering on this entire incident, especially about FBI's statement on what uh, the entire security agency is doing on the ground to follow up with the incident and the investigation? Well, look, all we know uh, right now is that uh, uh, he was, uh, was a white male mm -hmm. uh, who attempted assassination plot on uh, pres uh, uh, former President Trump. In fact, uh, we are also getting to know that uh, Donald Trump's sec Secret Service uh, protection was recently strengthened given his uh, uh, given uh, threat uh, to him. Uh, in fact, uh, CNN International is reporting that former President Donald Trump's Secret Service protection was strengthened recently. Uh, Trump was first granted Secret Service protection in November 2015 uh, and at the rally on Saturday the gunman was killed by Secret Service agents. Now FBI is uh, uh, is looking into this entire matter. They are they have started their investigation. In fact we have also been told that uh, shortly FBI Secret Service and State Police to hold press conference after Trump's assassination uh, 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 attempt on the Trump's assassination attempt because so far there is very little knowledge available in public domain. Uh, uh, all we know is that he was a white uh, male uh, who attempted uh, assassination plot on on a pres uh, uh, former president Donald Trump. Now there are there there is a lot of uh, uh, messages that uh, that we are picking from all over the world. Uh, the politicians all. That's R O J E K. I am the special agent in charge of the FBI Pittsburgh field office. The first thing I want to say is that the FBI stands with the people of Butler County in Western Pennsylvania, and our hearts go out to the victims of this heinous act which occurred today. This is our community, and I want to let the public know that the FBI has deployed a number of our resources, including investigative agents, our evidence response team, bomb technicians, and we have additional resources coming from other field offices, as well as from FBI headquarters, including our evidence response from Quantico, Virginia. We have intelligence analysts as well, working from our field office in Pittsburgh, working feverishly to attempt to identify the individual who did this and any motives behind why this was done. Right now, we need the public's help, anyone who was on scene who saw anything, who identified any information, please report that to the FBI using either the phone number 1-800-CALL-FBI or online at fbi.gov slash butler. This evening we had what we're calling an assassination attempt against our former president, Donald Trump. It's still an active crime scene as I mentioned, we have a number of agents on scene. We also are working closely with other federal agencies, our state partners, and our local police partners as well. Again, at this time, we are not prepared to identify who the shooter is. Uh, we are close to that identification, and as soon as we are 100% confident, press. 
With that being said, also, we do not currently have an identified motive, although our investigators are working tirelessly to attempt to identify what that motive was. At this time, I'm going to turn over the podium to Colonel Chris Paris from the Pennsylvania State Police. Thank you very much. My name is Colonel Chris Paris, P-A-R-I-S, Commissioner of Pennsylvania State Police. I would just like to say that the State Police have been in regular contact with the Governor's Office and the full support and assets of the entire agency are behind the FBI and our other federal and municipal partners to assist with this investigation. The thoughts and prayers of the Pennsylvania State Police are likewise with the victims of this terrible act. Uh, we are prepared to support this investigation in any way, shape, or form, and we stand ready to participate in a full, fair, and competent and thorough investigation. To give you an operational rundown, uh, Deputy Commissioner of Operations, Lieutenant Colonel George Bivens, is behind me, and he will discuss the operational portion that's being conducted by the Pennsylvania State Police. Lieutenant Colonel Bivens. Good evening. So let me describe for you a little bit about the, uh, the scene that we have over there. As you know, uh, uh, you know, there was a grandstand, a very large area, a lot of people there when this all unfolded. The former president had uh, come out and begun to speak shortly after 6 o'clock this evening, excuse me, this evening, uh, and within about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, a number of sounds were heard, and it became apparent that shots were being fired um, in that direction. It was a chaotic scene. Uh, law enforcement, I believe, acted heroically, quickly identifying and, uh, and, and neutralizing the threat, as well as responding to assist the various victims. PSP had a significant presence on the scene, along with all of our federal partners at the time of the shooting. We have since enhanced that presence significantly, bringing in resources from all over the Commonwealth to ensure that we have a speedy, thorough investigation. Uh, we are working very closely uh, with the FBI as we work through this. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, you know, because of the variety of crimes that have been committed, some are under federal jurisdiction, some are under state jurisdiction. And so uh, you know, we're working through all of that, not an issue at all, we work seamlessly. But uh, the FBI has maintained the lead on the attempted assassination. PSP will take the lead on the homicide and the shootings of the other individuals um, in, the, uh, in the grandstand area. And so there are a lot of witnesses uh, to be interviewed, a lot of things to be processed. There were some complicators that uh, uh, hopefully the next time we speak we can describe for you but some complicators that slowed down uh, some of the processing and the uh, uh, positive identification of the shooter. But uh, know that uh, at this time we have no reason to believe that there is any other existing threat out there. Uh, we are doing everything we can uh, to make sure that uh, this is thoroughly investigated and that if there uh, is any information developed that anyone else was involved that uh, between PSP and the FBI, that will very quickly be followed up on. So I think at this time we would open it up to questions uh, from all of you. Was this a lone wolf attack? Again, I, I think it's uh, too early to say that. We have one shooter tentatively identified, but uh, uh, we're, we're not uh, uh, stopping there. We're following up on a lot of information. Uh, it will be some time until we can conclusively say uh, or answer that question, I think. How long do you think that gun is not, it has been up there? I mean, when you saw the sensors up there, there are these various straps kind of lowering in. It looked like that could be a few points of second around. How long did that guy been up there? Uh, again, that will all be part of the investigation. Oh, but can you come up to the mic? That will all be part of the investigation. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that uh, preliminarily it appears everything unfolded very quickly. So, uh, you know, again, we'll have more information on that, but um, it's, it's just too early to start definitively uh, saying this happened at this exact time. And but it wasn't that he was inside the security perimeter, right? That, that building was on the outside of the That's correct. Building. 
uh, we'll have that information for you. It was some distance outside of the Colonel, security Colonel, can you comment on reports that there were uh, people who saw someone on the roof and tried to alert authorities? We're following up on those. I will tell you that I am aware of those, and, uh, and I am aware that uh, law enforcement had responded to a number of reports of suspicious activity. Um, the specific response to this will be all part of the after action, but yes, law enforcement was responding uh, to check on several suspicious occurrences. What were the other suspicious occurrences? Uh, that'll all be part of the investigation. So again, we're not prepared at this time to provide the identity. to the press, but at this time we, we can't give any further information on the potential to. No, it's a matter of doing biometric confirmations. So there was no identification on the individual as an example. Um, so you know, we're looking at photographs right now and we're trying to run his DNA and get biometric confirmation on. Would you be able to comment just what police found left behind, like any possible devices, did you find any extra guns, just anything else you'd be willing to comment? Not at this time, no, we're, we're still in the process of an active investigation, so we'd like to reserve releasing any information like that until we have more How facts. Is there any heightened threat level or credible threat level that you guys were aware of more so than what is typical for, for an event like this? From the FBI's perspective, no. We did not have any specific threat information related to this event. Can I ask, you talked about how it happened so quickly, and we know that there is at least two casualties, including the gunman at this point, that we're aware of. It could have been a lot worse. Absolutely. Are oh, you absolutely. Can comment more about that and how it was taken care of so quickly? So I think the credit goes to not only the Secret Service, who was on site, but also the state and local partners who were there on site and were able to react immediately when the incident occurred. Do you know how many officers fired their weapons? I do not. I understand that it's very early and there's still going to be a lot of questions, but I mean... At this point, we're not going to make that assessment. There's, there's an active investigation. A lot of things need to occur investigatively to make those determinations of what, if any, failures there were. So we really, we can't comment. Well, we've been constantly tracking some updates from the ground on this report. Well, we just heard the, the FBI, the Secret Service agencies, and the State Police Commissioner giving a press briefing. Now, Siddhant stays with us on the broadcast. Siddhant, take us through all the details uh, that the entire press briefing of the secret agencies and uh, FBI had to brief us on. Well, look, uh, FBI has taken over the probe, and in mm -hmm. fact, uh, uh, we have been told, in fact, this was the first uh, press uh, briefing of FBI. Uh, they, are, they have to say that they are very close to identify the shooter. Uh, they cannot do it right now unless they are 100% sure about it. They also say that the motive is yet to be established. Uh, they couldn't find the motive uh, mm -hmm. yet. Uh, and they are doing the thorough investigation in the matter and the most important takeaway from the press briefing of FBI is that they are calling it uh, an assassination attempt. So that's an official word coming from Federal Bureau of uh, Investigation uh, which is calling it an assassination attempt. So right now there are, uh, there are photographs and the name of the shooter mm -hmm. which, is, uh, which, is, uh, which is going on. Uh, 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 on social media platforms, in fact, uh, many are uh, uh, when many are naming the shooter and and you know uh, circulating his photographs. But FBI right. has refused to name the shooter or reveal his identity uh, at this point in time. They want to be hundred percent sure about it and the motive behind uh, uh, behind uh, behind taking out 
this uh, assassination uh, attempt is something which FBI wants to know first and then they would come out with the full profile and the motive behind this assassination attempt. So that was the first briefing of FBI that we were listening to. Uh, we have also been told that he is a... Uh, well, Siddhanta, 